again today when I hit a hundred dollars <laughs> the witches like I had to go to this taco place and the lady is doing her nose rubbing and I'm just don't strike up a conversation with me when you're really trying to put a hex on me so I turn around and she doesn't know I can see her right in the refrigerator reflection she just her mouth is just going but she's not talking to anyone around there's nobody around she's over there by herself and she's just rubbing her face like she's getting frustrated and just her mouth is just moving like she doesn't understand why it isn't working then I get to the hospital um where I you know where I needed to go for that moment and the lady that came down, she was trying too hard. Like, she was trying way too hard to try to, like, um, intimidate me. And um, I just, you know, bless her in my own way. And you could see the spirit on her. It was a spirit of deception, really strongly, too. Um, it looked like they're self-deceived. Like they think that they are more powerful than that in actuality. Because only thing that gives them power is you by believing in them instead of believing in God. Knock them off of that idolatry pedestal and put God back on that that seat. But they're trying to stop me from making money past a hundred dollars a day. But that's my right. You're trying to violate my rights. I have a right to work. If I want to work 24 hours straight, then I can. You can't stop me from working. Like, you're, but what God told me was ignore them. They're irrelevant. They hold no power. <coughs> they only hold a little bit of power if you believe in them. Once, once you realize they're just like, you know how you go into haunted houses, but it's all fake. But to a child, they don't know it's fake. They're not old enough to understand it. These people are just, knock them out the way. Knock them out the way. Ignore them. Rebuke them. Keep it moving. Because they don't have as much power as you think. You have the power. You have the power to say, I don't receive that. Take care. And mean it and stand on it surround yourself with the word of God surround yourself with the knowledge of God surround yourself with healing bells power do you ever notice that they took all the bells out of the towns because bells get these things together they get those people together play your bells loud in your home loud in your car play the word of god loud in your car loud in your home in your ear ear pieces when you're out they run from regulation like they are trying to set their own frequency which is demonic it is the low vibrational and but uh bells uh regulate frequencies to uh, uh you know where it's supposed to be and it exposes them for the frauds that they are because they're nothing but a bunch of criminals riding around committing crimes breaking the law breaking the constitution that's why they hate when you bring up the constitution because the constitution has an anointing on it for the people and so when you come to them with the constitution it like and refute them with it it breaks them down because they can't stand against the truth and then you just bless them and you keep going and just imagine yourself holding a big gong and every time they try just gong gong just gong gong them in your mind and the spirit realm gong them like literally because they can't they, they you gotta literally snap them out of it because they're just human beings they're just flesh and blood too they're not super powerful like they think they are they are uh you know satanic and uh, the bible says that the anointed destroys the yoke of bondage so just keep high vibrations and high frequencies all around you stay away from low vibrating people um 
because it does carry it has some significance it really does uh, these people are just low low lives don't let them take your energy don't let them discourage you it's all a lie they're just trying to if they if they speak something they're trying to speak it into existence you refute it gong them rebuke it in the name of jesus i pray the blood of jesus over you and that god will give you the knowledge and the wisdom and the strength the bible says resist the devil and he will flee from thee so i pray that god give you the power to resist the devil in jesus christ's mighty name and we rebuke satan we renounce him we renounce any of his imps any of his demons we renounce all evil spirits we renounce the occult we renounce any false information we renounce all the lies of the enemy in Jesus' name, amen.